Now that I gave you a perspective on where you can use this, let's see how to build the system from scratch using Python and OpenCV. Let's go. Before we go further with the lesson, I want to let you know that everything that I'm sharing with you today, like source code, the more in-depth explanation of each single step will be inside the AI Vision Academy. I'm going to put the link down below in the description. Here is how you ask help for your project. And now let's start building our project. First thing, you need to prepare your setup. So let's say that we want to measure all the objects that we have right here around this area. And from this object, of course, we can take only two dimensions. We can take the width like this, and we can take the height. Of course, it's depending on the perspective, like one can be width or height, or we can reverse that. But anyway, two dimensions. We cannot get the depth. Why we cannot get the depth? Because we're using a simple webcam. So this is the webcam that we have here. We cannot get the depth because for that, we need some more advanced camera, for example, that cameras like this one that's for another video so we can get to dimension so for this you need to place the webcam on top and it must be perpendicular to the ground like this to have a precise measurement it must be perpendicular to the ground so you need to do this setup it's very simple you can do this at home anywhere and now let's start with the coding. I will be very quick. So I will write some part from scratch and then some part I will just put it and copy paste it and explain to you generally what it does. Otherwise this lesson will take two hours and we won't just to understand the concept here. So we need the library OpenCV, so CV2. And then what we need, we need to get the frame in real time from the camera. So we create a capture object, CV2.video capture. And then zero, zero to load the first webcam. If you have multiple webcams, you need to change this with a different index, one, two, and so on. Now let's get the frames. Now with this, we're getting the frame in real time from the camera. Let's show the frame. Let's release the camera. So when we're done with the job, we release the camera and then we close everything. Now this is taking in real time everything that's below. Now we go to the first concept. 